How to link a domain name to your Minecraft server IP. So if I just click on multiplayer here and then I click on the server that I usually join and then click edit, you can see here in the server address we have an IP address for our server. However, for an easier way to connect to your server, you might want to replace this with a domain name so that you, your friends and your guests when connecting to the server can easily remember the server address. Now to do this you will need a few things. The first thing you will need is a domain name and your own self-hosted server. Alright, let me take you through step by step of how to link a domain name to your Minecraft server IP. The first thing I'm going to do here is click cancel and then I'm going to navigate to the top right hand corner and minimize my Minecraft client window. Once you've done that, the first thing you'll need to do is get a domain name. Now if you don't have a domain name, I recommend Namecheap as your domain registrar of choice. The domain names at Namecheap are quite affordable and the user interface is very simple and easy to use. So if you don't have a domain name and you would like to use Namecheap as your domain registrar, I'll put my referral link in the description below. If you click on that link, you'll save a bit of money on your domain purchase at Namecheap and I'll make a bit of money. So we'll both be helping each other out. All right, guys. So once you've clicked on that referral link, you'll either need to sign up for a Namecheap account by clicking on sign up here, or if you already have a Namecheap account, you'll just need to click on sign in. Now I already have a Namecheap account, so I'm just simply going to click on sign in, and then I'm going to put in my username and password, and then click sign in. Once you've signed up and logged into your Namecheap account, you'll be brought to the Namecheap dashboard. Once you're here, you'll need to purchase a domain name. To do this, simply hover over domains and then click on domain name search and then left click on it. Scroll down once you're here and then start looking for the domain name that you would like to use. Now I've already purchased a domain name from Namecheap, so all I'm going to do is go back to my dashboard here. So I'm just going to click this arrow to go back to the previous web page. All right, so once you've purchased your domain name, make sure you're back on the Namecheap dashboard. You should then be able to see the domain name you have just purchased. So as you can see, the Namecheap domain name that we're going to be linking to our Minecraft server IP address is going to be websplaining.com. So what you want to do is you want to click on manage here on the right hand side of your domain name. Left click on it. Once you've done this, you'll be taken to your domain names details section. Once here, simply scroll down until you see name servers. Now, as you can see, currently my name servers is on a custom DNS. And that is because the name servers are currently pointing towards my website. However, when you first purchase a domain name from Namecheap, most likely your name servers are going to be on Namecheap basic DNS. If they're not, make sure you left click on this arrow here and then select Namecheap basic DNS. This is exactly what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to left click here and then make sure you click on the check mark icon, which says save. Once you've done that, the changes that you've made to your name servers will have been saved. This can take up to 48 hours for the name servers to change to Namecheap's basic DNS. All right, so once you've done that, navigate to the top of this page, and the next thing we'll be changing is the advanced DNS. So make sure you left click on advanced DNS. All right, once you've been taken to advanced DNS, scroll down a little here to where it says host records. If you currently have some records here in your domain name, you can delete them if you want. However, that's optional. So what we'll need to do next is add a fresh new record by clicking on this red button here, add new record, left click on it. Once you've done that, a list will open where you can select the type of record that you want. You're going to be selecting a record, which will be at the very top. Left click on this to select it. And now you'll have to fill in two values. The first value you're going to have to fill in is the host. Now, as you know, the domain name that we purchased is websplaining.com. To put it simply, a host is what comes before your domain name. So for example, www. would be your subdomain name, otherwise known as your host. So if you want to join your Minecraft server with www.websplaining.com, then all you need to do is simply type www in here for that to happen. You can also change it to whatever you want. So a lot of people just go with MC, short for Minecraft, .websplaining.com. That would be what your guests, friends, and yourself would use to join your server. So I prefer a very short and sweet approach, and that is just to have my domain name with no subdomain before it. So for example, it would be websplaining.com, and that's all that would be used to connect to my server. If you also want that, 
all you need to do is simply type at in here, the at symbol, and that is what I'm going to go with. Next, you'll need to enter the value, and your value is going to be your server IP address of your Minecraft server. Now, to grab this, you most likely will need to go into your Minecraft server host. So I'm just going to go to the next tab here just to grab it. As you can see, I'm using Vulture as my Minecraft server host, as I consider Vulture a very simple and easy to use and also a cheap way to host a Minecraft server. If you would like to switch over to Vulture to host your Minecraft server, I'll put a link in the description of where you'll be able to get some promotional credits to test out the server for free for 30 days. So you'll save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money. Once you're here, copy your server address, which in my case is 104.238.162.103. So I'm just going to left click on it to copy, and then I'm going to go back to my Namecheap window here. Once you're here, go back to where it says value and paste in your server address. Great, so we filled in all the parameters. You don't actually need to enter anything into TTL, just keep it automatic. And then all you need to do is click this check mark symbol to add the following A record. Left click on it to save the changes. Again, I just want to reiterate that it can take up to 48 hours for your domain name to link to your Minecraft server IP. So please be patient as it doesn't happen immediately. However, for the sake of this video, I'm going to test our domain name out now. So let's see if websplaining.com links to our server IP address, which is 104.238.162.103. So I'm just going to navigate to the bottom here and open up the Minecraft game window again. And we're going to be adding a new server. So left click on add server and then give it a name. So I'm just going to call it websplaining. And then for the server address, it's going to be websplaining.com. And then simply click on done. And as you can see, the domain name has been linked to your Minecraft server IP address. How do I know this? Well, we have some connection bars here and I'm just going to test it by connecting to it. So just left click on the server that you want to join and then click on join server. Let's see if it takes us into our Minecraft world. And there we go, guys, it does indeed work. All right, that pretty much concludes the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Wait, is it so